Good morning and welcome back to Community Couch Time, a daily talk show where we talk about things that are important, things that are happening in our community, in our state, in this country, and internationally. Oftentimes, the topics that we discuss are ones that others aren't talking about. And the question is, why aren't we? And so now a word from Ms. Wallace. Good morning, great minds and good people. I'm Ms. Tiffany Wallace, and thank you for having me for Community Couch Time. Now, let's start the discourse. Many of the students of Los Angeles were back on campus this week or last week after 14 months of distance learning. It was so great to see these students that chose hybrid and also to be with colleagues that we miss so much. Welcome to our campus. We are heading to our classroom to prepare for advisory and get settled in. We have so much planned for this short period before we go to a much needed and well-deserved summer break, virtual field trips, and the development of our bird sanctuary in the forest of Waldonas. We are reunited and it feels so, so good. Good morning and welcome back to Community Couch Time. How are you, Ms. Wallace? I'm fabulous. I'm doing so wonderful. Oh my gosh, excited to be back here on campus at Roy Ball. It's very How are exciting. You, Ms. Cardona. I'm doing really well. Also, um, I'll be honest, the mask indoors is it's it's rough, it's difficult. Um, but I will say that it has been worth it because I've been able to spend some time with other human beings other than the human beings that are part of my family, which has been really wonderful. And so it got me thinking about reuniting stories. So do you have a story of something awesome that happened in your life that had to do with reuniting with someone? Uh, yes, so I went to Humboldt State University. Uh, if you look up here, you probably saw that in my uh, other Community Couch Time videos. That's the Redwood Forest. Um, it's one of the northernmost counties in California and it looks like that pretty much all the time. And um, so I'm from Los Angeles, I'm from Inglewood, California. And when I would take the bus from Humboldt uh, back home, it was about 18 hours one way. So it was a really long bus ride. And um, when I would come back to Inglewood, my mom would always have our home cooked meal that she would make for us. Um, for, for me when I would come back. So hot water cornbread, which is like the crunchy kind of cornbread with scallions and little pieces of shrimp inside and um, mustard greens or, or cabbage. And so like a soul food dinner and with some black eyed peas. So it always, she always would do that. It, I, I really didn't appreciate it until later thinking about all the time she spent mm -hmm. to make sure that when I came home uh, after a really long bus ride of really bad food on the yeah. way home that I would have a home cooked meal um, waiting for me when, when she would do that. And it was very sweet and loving of her. So it is. And I'm sure if, if we uh, would have asked her about a reuniting story, she could have shared that as well. Like her baby came home yeah. um, again, her education up North. That's wonderful. And yeah. my, my reuniting story is actually kind of similar it doesn't have to do with going off to college but it has to do with the parent my father so I was mostly raised with my mom so whenever I would see my dad either he would come pick us up when we we're little and then when we got older we we're able to fly to him it was always so wonderful to be able to hug him and you know just be with him and you know it's a different energy right and um and learn from him and and all of that so always just made me feel whole you know, for that period of time. And so those are some really good memories that I have. And so for you all out there, we want to know, do you have a reuniting story that you can share with us for the Community Couch Time Daily Journal? Tell us. We want to know. In la catch. In la catch. Bless you.